It was one of the worst space flight disasters in history. Tonight marks 34 years since the space shuttle Challenger exploded. In tonight's backstory, KVU's Bob Buckaloo is remembering the crew of Challenger. Indelible images of a tragedy. So much promise as the seven crew members of the shuttle Challenger prepared for their historic space mission. Among them, Krista McAuliffe on her way to becoming the first ordinary U.S. civilian to travel into space. The 37-year-old high school social studies teacher from New Hampshire won a competition that earned her a place on the crew. She went through months of training. Finally, on January 28, 1986, launch day in Florida. Millions watched on TV, including McCullough students back in New Hampshire. But something went wrong. Just one minute, 13 seconds after liftoff, the shuttle broke up. There were no survivors. Plumes of smoke lingered in the sky as it became clear that all had witnessed a tragedy. An investigation later determined the disaster was caused by the failure of an O-ring seal and one of the two solid fuel rockets. It didn't work as it should because of the cold temperature at launch time. In Austin, as everywhere else, there was shock and mourning. And among those mourners, children who had looked forward to watching lessons beam from the shuttle into their classrooms. At Round Rock High School, students tried to understand how something like this could happen. At Travis Heights Elementary, a simple memorial and eloquent words from a sixth grader. I've heard people say since the day that the Challenger exploded that if God had wanted us to fly, he would have given us wings. I don't believe that at all. But what I do believe is God gave us a mind to go far places. To me, all that have set out to go far places, like out of space, are people like Gandhi, Martin Luther King, the seven crew members, just to name a few. They are very, very special.